taking a live look outside from the Holiday Inn camera right now. Boy, we're seeing lots more clouds than we did yesterday and not as much sunshine, but it is dry. So we want to start off with the good news because first of all, it's Friday. The weekend's here. Let's get to meteorologist Cedric Haynes. And then he'll let us know what else we can expect. <laughs> That's right. Latrice, <laughs> TGIF. Let's start off with that, right? Yes. Uh, welcome everybody in and then we're going to kind of ease you into the bad news, but let's start off with the good news. Right now, things are dry all across the Tennessee Valley. So anything you need to do outside, maybe you want to go out there, maybe you want to mow the grass real quick before the weekend gets in, have some visitors coming in, or maybe you just want to wash the car, whatever you want to do. The weather looking pretty good to kick off things. A mix of sun and clouds, temperatures right around 81 degrees, so it's warming up. Now, the one little small caveat I'd say already changing out there is the dew point now climbing into the upper 60s. So yesterday that was in the lower 60s, now in the upper 60s, and it will likely continue to climb as we start to see more moisture building in from the south and east. So let's get you right over to the radar and kind of verify things for you here as we're tracking some showers, but not so much here across the Tennessee Valley. In fact, you can see we've got a clean sweep across south East Tennessee, Northeast Alabama, Northwest Georgia, and Western North Carolina. But as we take you off towards the south, you can see it's not a clean sweep. We've got that area of low pressure. We told you it developed down here in the Gulf of Mexico. It indeed has developed and you can start to see now we're seeing more widespread moisture beginning to develop and notice that flow yesterday was pointing more towards Northwest Florida. It's now pointing more towards the south and east here and that's going to be the beginning signs of some of this moisture that will begin to drift to the north in the coming hours and by tonight I think our chances of rainfall will really start to go up and that will continue right on into the upcoming uh, weekend as well. But you can see again moisture building building in from the south, but first we're starting with just some clouds that are kind of building in as we speak. So let's look at future cast. Here we go. Friday evening stop starting off at about five o'clock. You can see the rain starting to build into the I-20 corridor. I think for the most part, the way things are shaping up right now, we may be able to get most of these football games in with not too much rainfall, believe it or not. We're looking at some isolated to scattered showers building in, but I think the better chance of rain arrives overnight Friday night into your Saturday morning. I think that's where we're going to see a heavy slug of moisture moving our way and then we'll see off and on showers on Saturday. Notice that low pressure is still to our south, so we'll still see that flow coming in out of the south. Even on Sunday, that low pressure in the front is still to the west, so we'll still see that flow coming out of the south, meaning the chances of off and on showers will continue. But notice by Monday morning could start off with a few showers, then that northwesterly flow kicks in and that will start to dry us out heading into the rest of the week. So again, as we go through your weekend rainfall, look fairly likely. In fact, some of that rainfall has the potential to be on the heavy side, especially just to our south and east, but some of that could sneak to the north, especially by the time we get towards Sunday. So we're going to have to watch that for you very closely. Here's your storm alert seven day. Again, showers late today, heading into your Saturday where rain will be likely. And then there you see rain tapering off beautiful weather by the time we get towards the middle of next week. Latrice. Thank you, Cedric.